Yeah, that's a good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got the deadliest gang in London, Wood Green. There's a mob or MOB. This is brought to us by Skyboy, you know what I'm saying? And it was recommended to us by Tyler Weir. Weir? Weir? I appreciate you for the recommendation, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to have been got, got into this. But, you know what I'm saying? It, it's so many recommendations. And then when it's the longer videos, and people are recommending more longer videos, you know what I'm saying? I gotta figure out when I can do stuff, and you know what I'm saying? It's all a timing thing. It's all a timing thing. Especially with all the wrecks. But, anyways, man. And I, I would have had this up sooner, but... I got I got home late, I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, I haven't even eaten yet. That's how that's how re I'm really here. I'm here, y'all. I'm here with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I haven't even eaten yet, and this is the last one I'm doing for the night, so no more wrecks, please. Alright? I still got others I'm trying to get to. So if you haven't seen your video reacted to, I probably have it ready to go. So you just gotta give me a second to get to it. But um yeah, man. And other than that, it was my my guy. All right, my guy Cam's birthday. You know what I'm saying? Wish Cam a happy birthday. I mean, it'll, it'll have passed by now, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was chilling. Um, you know what I'm saying? Making sure his vibes is cool. Uh, and yeah, man. That 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 also uh factored into me being late. So it, it's a it's a lot. All right. But we here now, so you know what I'm saying? Wish my guy Cam a happy birthday. Uh, happy belated at this point, but... Anyways, man, let's get to it. Enough yapping. This is a 20 damn minute video, and we're in for a treat. Get your snacks, sit your ass down, and be ready. Alright? My bad. I'd... It's a suburban district in a borough of Haringey in North London. It's a postal district in N22. Oh, 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 the nigga's talking. The... Okay, okay. Okay, all right. Let's let's tune the hell in now. Okay, then uh, we add us a talker. Okay, nah. Uh, let's make sure we don't miss anything. Borough of Haringey in North London. It's a postal district in N22, with parts of it in N8 or N15. Located in this area of the city is London's deadliest gang. Ta shit. The first generation of the Wood Green firm began to call themselves Junior Mafia or Junior Mafia Woods in the late 1990s going into the millennium. The second generation became known collectively as Wood Green Mob. Yo, yo, Wood Green, yeah, you get me? Everyone's here, you get me? Mob. Yeah, 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 me. Within the mob's sprawling turf covering large parts of the N22 postcode, sets developed that were geographically placed on various estates such as Knoll Park, Acacia Road, Bracknell Close, Progress Way, Commerce Road, and Sky City Estate. Oh, so Following did. the death of the young Tottenham boy in 1997, perpetrated by the Hackney Mandem, members of Wood Green Firm were firmly back in the conflict that came to be generalised as Hackney versus Tottenham. At this point in time, Wood Green and Tottenham were close allies. Edmonton were also their allies, which is a stark contrast to what's going on in present time. At this new generation of Edmonton went on to become known as Shank Stars, whilst over a dozen Tottenham estates began to adopt their own identity. For example, the formation of MPK, who are from Northumberland Park. Many of the teenagers born into this generation knew each other and attended the same school. Despite this, where they're from proved to be greater than any friendship they had. Areas began to challenge each other's reputation, and it wasn't long before this escalated into violence. Oh. In 2002, up to a dozen members of the Wood Green mob, the Junior Mafia Woods, were caught by police surveillance following a four-month robbery spree. The gang members, aged 12 to 19, were said by police to see themselves as untouchable, preying on innocent victims as a pack to steal cash, mobile phones, often at knife point. Jermaine Campbell, Craig Johnson and Ashley Goldie, all then 16, were ordered to be detained for three years despite being young offenders due to the severity of their crime. Michael Gaynor and Aaron Reddix, both age 15, were sentenced to 12 and 18 months. Michael Gaynor's street name, G-Money, would later grow up to be a very influential member of the Wood Green Gang. Tasha. Robbery offences were said to have fallen by 33% in Wood Green Shopping Centre following these convictions. 
In 2004, Wood Green mob allies Shadow Kings began the conflict with Tiverton, who are today known as M15 and are from South Tottenham, who at the time had internal issues in Tottenham with Broadwater Farm. During the conflict, Wood Green mob was torn between loyalties with Tottenham and the Shadow Kings. Wood Green mob ended up siding with the Shadow Kings and this was the beginning of the Tottenham beef. Internal disputes were squashed between Tiverton and Broadwater Farm, uniting the whole of Tottenham. In 2005, the Wood Green mob began serious conflict with Tottenham gangs, mainly Bullwater Farm, IDA Bloodstars, and Tiverton. I the home of the brave Bloodstars do this blood thing. Blood free Joe, free Bloodstars. Now, on the 30th of April 2005, <laughs> six Wood Green mob members would surround the car of Andre Linton on Buller Road just before 11 pm, where Jermaine Campbell, aka Killer, would then fire a single bullet through the window and into Andre's chest. The bullet sadly penetrated his heart. Can't Andre, who was a pupil RP, at man. Great City Academy and formerly of Northumberland Park School, was not a gang member. It is believed the trigger was Can't something as arbitrary up. as a dirty look. Killer, real name Jermaine Campbell, was sentenced yeah, to 25 years in prison at the Old Bailey, but five other gang members who were with him at the night are still at large. Jerome Vassell, aka Warlord, was a well-known and loved member of original Wood Green Boys. On the 28th of October 2006, at around 1am at the West Indian Cultural Centre, he was shot in the head by a Star Gang member. Star oh. Gang is the same Tottenham based set that the famous UK drill duo RV and Heddy would later rep. Jerome would be taken to Royal Free Hospital in Hampstead where he spent five months and was discharged in March 2007, suffering from brain damage, partial paralysis and communication problems. He later suffered an epileptic fit directly related to the gunshot injury and collapsed and died at his home Damn in Harrogate, you, December Happy 2007. Man. Eight people were arrested for his murder but none were charged and they were all released. The murder remains unsolved. Really? Now in 2008, many of the Shadow King members were arrested. Those who remained joined Wood Green mob. This was also the start of the Green City Alliance, which is a link up between Wood Green, Edmonton Green and Bounds Green. All three gangs began wearing green, green bandanas. Green, green. Some Taxi. prominent members from different Wood Green sets included the likes of Todd's, GK, HB, G Money, Nat Nas, Steeler, etc. Also long term allies Hornsey and Wood Green began to fall into conflict with one another. This reached a tipping point in September 2008 when over 40 Wood Green and Grey Gang members clashed. 17 year old Grey Gang member was rushed to hospital after he was found by a passerby having collapsed in the avenue with stab wounds to his back, leg and face. The youths who used bandanas to hide their faces were spotted by police officers in the high road Wood Green near the junction with Gladstone Avenue at 1.50 a.m. but were able to escape. By the end of 2008, Hornsey's Grey Gang had developed an alliance with Wood Green's rivals from Tottenham including MPK. Wood Green mm -hmm. were now effectively fighting six gangs. Due to oh, this, shit. Wood Green dropped one of their most legendary tracks in UK history titled FL Link Up where the chorus rings Need to get their peas up, cause we G'd up and them man there ain't real cause they teamed up. Six Damn. postcodes linked up just to be fuss. I'm glad he wrapped it. That's the new generation clean, okay? of Wood Green were fearless and mobbing on several Damn. blocks. Their best rapper G Money as well as Sticks will drop this legendary song in Hornsey right, on next. the up block while tying green flags to street signs. Damn. That's hard, I ain't gonna lie. Green Gang to my death. And Hornsey, murder Hornsey is. Now in 2010, on the 27th of April, G Money, real name Michael Gaynor, was handed an ASBO by Harringay, which not only bans him from returning to Wood Green, but also prevents him from associating with 13 of his former gangmates. G Money, who has been involved with gangs since he was a teenager, was banned from being in a group of three or more in a public space and has been banned from featuring in any music video or audio material that is uploaded to the internet and incites violence towards rival gangs. That is insane. He was also banned from uploading pictures or footage that features green bandanas. Oh, On the 7th I can't of even August rip my shit. 2011, HB, real name Sion Fogger Brown, a Wood Green mob member would break into HMV shop in High Road in the early hours after rioting that broke out in Tottenham the night before spread across the borough. Brown, 
unemployed was identified after blood found at a scene by forensic investigators was matched with him and he was arrested three weeks later. At Wood Green Crown Court, he was sentenced to 16 months in a Young Offenders Institute after pleading guilty to burglary. Like On the 1st of the September 2011, Bevenu Vangu, aka Steeler, would get a drop on his MPK Ops like at Tyrese. Magistrate Court. Yes, you heard that correctly. An actual court. One more time. Many one, of his one, fellow one, one more time. I apologize. My bad, y'all. Would get a drop on his MPK Thinking Ops at Highgate Magistrate Court. Yes, you heard court. that correctly. Okay, An actual court. Many of his fellow Wood Green members would also be attending court for their own cases that day. It was very common for ops to run into each other during these things. Up to 30 teenagers eventually gathered, which sparked a fight, before Steeler, wearing a baseball cap and a scarf across his face, arrived clutching a plastic bag containing a rusty axe. Steeler was later arrested and charged. Ironically, he now appeared in court for what he did in court. Uh, Mr. Bro. Israel told Wood Green Crown Court one slips to the ground and Steeler hammers four vicious violent hacks of the axe on a young man's head. Steeler then chased another teenager across the road and Mr. Israel said stands over him, raises the axe and hits two hard blows on the victim's back. Security guards locked the court to protect members of the public inside but two victims were trapped outside as Vangu launched his attack. Steeler who turned 18 in November, had a string of 10 convictions already for robbery, violence and carrying a knife yeah, and the first tell. appearing before courts when he was just 14. Steeler oh, admitted wounding, attempted wounding, violent disorder and possession of an axe. He was sentenced to six years and ordered to be on license for four years after his release from prison to protect the public. From that day onward, Steeler became known as Axeman. Axeman. Now, Nat Nice, real name Nat Neil Testify, was a Wood Green what mob member. To audio? He was banned from Wood Green, so he started chilling with Edmonton based set, Them Africans, who were part of the Green Alliance. Them Africans' local rivals at the time were Get Money Gang. On the evening of April 1st, 2013, Nat Nice and a group of Them Africans gathered on Bouncers Road in Edmonton. A dark Vauxhall Corsa drove past. GMG members Chicken and Shadow were behind the wheel. Nat Nice and friends spotted the car and gave chase. Nat Nice then left and returned with a gym bag containing a sawn off shotgun and some ammunition. Ten minutes later, a black BMW arrived. Chicken and Shadow stepped out and started walking towards the kebab shop in Bouncers Road. Nat Nice calmly put his bag down after spotting them and proceeded to fire a chicken who was unarmed before chasing him down and firing again. Chicken who had been hit in the chest collapsed in the alleyway between Bouncers Road and the car park. Chicken sadly died at the scene. Nat Nice was arrested, charged and sentenced to 27 years Golly. for his murder. I think I heard a Money J, real name Joshua Fox, was a 197 member, which is a gang located in Finchley. Real name Joshua sentenced to 27 years for his murder. Money J, real Money name J? Joshua Fox, was a 197 member, which is a gang located in Finchley and rivals of Wood Green. On the 3rd of December 2014, Money J was outside the house Money in Palmer's J. Green at around 12.45 a.m. He would be spotted by two Wood Green members, one being g Mads as well as Big J. Big J would hit him with a baseball bat, whereas g Mads would take things further and stab Money J in the chest. Money J would collapse and despite paramedics later working on him for almost 45 minutes, he was pronounced dead at the scene. The three teenagers responsible for his murder will be charged and go to trial. Three teenagers have been found not guilty of murdering a 17-year-old outside his friend's Sheesh, home in North man. London. Joshua Folks, who was known as Money J, was stabbed to death in Palmer's Green in December. How they beat the case is beyond me, but stranger things have happened. Steeler was released in 2014, but it didn't take long for him to get into trouble. Beat the case? Now, Crimer, real name Clive Massey, was a refugee from Congo whose parents came here for a better life. Who? Oh. In his name, Clive Massey, was a refugee for him to get into trouble. As soon as I heard Congo. Now, Crimer, real name Clive Massey, was a refugee from Congo I whose parents came name. here for a better life. In his teenage years, he was a legit Grey Gang member and extremely active, arguably their top scorer. On one occasion, stabbing a shooting Wood Green member, GK. 
However, as he aged, he had been trying to extricate himself from a deadly lifestyle and qualify as an engineer to make his family proud. It was an honourable decision on his part. Sadly, his hopes will continue to see him as a target for all the blood he had shed prior. Now on the 1st of February 2015, Krimer arrived with four friends at a birthday party in Sark Tower. At around 4.20am, present at the party was Steeler, HB and a few others. Once spotted by HB, Krimer was shot in the chest before he made it beyond the hallway of the 13th floor flat. Two friends tried to drive Clive Massey 24 to hospital following the shooting at 4.30am but flagged down a police car on his way to the scene when they realised he was unlikely to survive. He unfortunately died in hospital the following morning. A total of 21 people were arrested in connection with the murder. Everyone but HB was released. HB now stood trial for the murder of Clive Massey. The prosecution stated that within a minute the deceased and his groups were chased down by HB and his associates and there was a further gunfight outside the block of flats where bullets hit Mr. Massey's car. The prosecution ballistic expert stated that at least three up to five firearms were discharged. It was alleged that the shooting was gang related, but HB denied this, as well as denying being a gang member. HB was found guilty of possession of a firearm and violent disorder, but not Jeez. found guilty of murder. Oh. On the 9th of January 2015, Prophet, real name Isaiah Ekpaloba, an N15 gang member, along with his friend Lamont Roper, would raid the home of Wood Green rival JD, attempting to rob him for drugs. JD managed to fight back while sustaining stab injuries. He was also able to stab Prophet. The pair then ran out of the house. JD pursued the pair and caught up with them as the cab attempted to pull out into that high road in Wood Green. CCTV showed JD, armed with at least one knife, open the front passenger door and make stabbing motion towards Roper who was seated there. JD then attempted to open the back passenger door where Prophet was seated but only managed to open it partially. The car took Prophet to North Middlesex Hospital in Edmonton where he died at 4.46pm. Police later found JD covered in blood inside his own flat. Officers recovered a number of knives, one which had the blade been snapped off indicating the ferociousness of the struggle. Officers arrested Roper 18 of Wigan House in East London on January 14th and he was subsequently charged with conspiracy to rob Dorset. He was tried alongside Dorset and found guilty. Considering the circumstances, JD was sentenced to a life of a minimum 12 years for the murder of Prophet. Roper was sentenced to seven and a half years for conspiracy to rob and three and a half years for both counts of robbery, both to be served concurrently. Now Melo was- So Prophet's the one that passed? Like, I'm like, I'm mixing shit up. It, uh, this is not working, bro. This is not helping. I'm sorry, y'all, bro. I'm sorry. Fuck. This shit is, this shit is hard, bro. I'm trying my best to keep up with everything. I'm shutting the hell up. Y'all hear me silent. I thought I ain't making no more jokes. I'm just, I'm just trying to... You know what I'm saying? But damn. I'm like mixing names up and then who's doing what? Like... Fuck, bro. This shit, all right, bro. I'm trying. I'm sorry. Ramers. Was an original Wood Green member. He was highly respected. On the Mello. 25th of June 2015, Mello was at a party in Abbey Wood, South East London, celebrating becoming a father to his second child. Oh, his brother Rico no. was also present, and he was celebrating the fact he bagged a new job. Present, unfortunately, we were go. also MPK members Fraser and Aiden. Things escalated and three men were knifed after a fight erupted. Mello was one of the three men stabbed. He was taken to an East London hospital where he died from a single stab wound. Golly, Damien bro. Fraser, 27, from Summerfield right, Grove, man. Tottenham, was jailed for 21 years, and Aiden, 25, of Northumberland Park, Tottenham, was jailed for 19 years. On the 3rd of February 2018, Wood Green gang members went out riding looking for rivals in a stolen black Honda Civic. They spotted Coabner Nelson, known to friends as Kobe, who was now a youth Kobe. care worker, but once ripped the MPK gang. Kobe himself was in a the car, they rammed into him. Shortly after the collision, a group of men decamped from the Black Honda Civic, ran to where Kobe's car had come to arrest, and began to attack the car, and then him. They started hitting him, kicking him, knifing him down. Kobe was on his feet, then fell down on the ground and curled up. Kobe mustered his strength to call for an ambulance. Oh, he was the one on the phone. Fuck, I just remembered. 
where Damn I'm it, right. man. Fuck Jet this call. Jet Mary. I'm dead. The Mary's oh. where? I'm dead. Tell me oh. where you are. That's the important. I'm getting police and an ambulance to you, okay? Please. Hello? Are you with him now? Yes. Are the attackers still nearby? Oh, no, he's by himself. He's by himself. Oh. Okay, is there any serious bleeding? Serious, there's a lot of blood. There is a lot of blood. So we've got multiple staff rooms. Call me, call me. Call me, call me, chat to me. Aw, oh, they, they didn't play that part the last time, Kobe bro. Kobe sadly died at Fuck. the scene shortly before 3 a.m. Alright, oh, oh, bro. Oh, Lee, who? I'm bad. Young S? Yeah. Young S, however, beat the case. As the funeral procession heads to the cemetery, a few streets away, the police spot a suspicious car with three suspected gang members in it. If they're not done, stop. Look at how they drive. I confirm this vehicle has been uh, shown as confirmed. What are you driving? I think he's doing a lot the right now. The three men attempt to escape. One suspect is caught at an address close by, and when officers search the property, they find a loaded shotgun. Gun that we've recovered from the address. Um, it's a sawn off shotgun, so it's got a potential to kind of spread pellets. The arrested suspect was found not guilty of any offense. Now, Jigger J, real name, Neron Quarte, a Wood Green gang member, DNA was found on the car's airbag, but throughout the investigation and trial, he refused to give up names of the other men involved in the attack. Him keeping his mouth sealed was the reason why the rest of the members involved didn't get locked. Judge Anne sentenced Quarte to life of minimum term of 26 years. Now back to Steeler. On the 20th of February 2018, Steeler was on a Hammersmith and City train to Barking. He was spotted and approached by an op. This turned into a verbal fight before it quickly escalated and got violent. Steeler was stabbed and reacted by shooting his attacker at close range in the stomach. Steeler was heavily bleeding himself, however his attacker collapsed on the floor and was left in critical condition. Steeler then ran off the train at Barking Station. Three days later, Steeler was traced to his home in South End and arrested after a standoff with armed police. The boy he shot recovered in hospital. Steeler appeared at the Old Bailey in London and was found guilty of grievous bodily harm with intent and possession of a firearm. He was cleared of one count of attempted murder. He was sentenced on the 4th of September to 13 years in jail where he will serve a further four on license. Now I'm, Lamps was- I'm, I'm, I'm so confused because... What did- I thought he said- I thought he said- Is this not a case of self-defense? I thought he was the one that was approached or whatever. Hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick, I'm sorry. 1919, alright. February 2018, Steeler was on a Hammersmith and City train to Barking. He was spotted and approached by an op. This turned into a verbal fight before it quickly escalated and got violent. Steeler was stabbed and reacted by shooting Like, come on, bro. That's insane. That's kind of insane. I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of fucking insane. He was sentenced on the 4th of was a member of a set in Wood Green known right. as the Green Sound of Attempted right, right, right. Damn it. License. Now Lamps was a member of a set in Wood We've Green known Lamps. as the Greenside Hills. We've heard him a very least. active Wood Green member for his age. Not would done. literally terrorize his ops and was alleged to have been part of the group who attacked Kobe. See, Kobe was a loved member by the whole of Tottenham. OFB, M15 and MPK were all mourning his death. On the 8th of March 2018, Lamps was outside and would taught his ops on Snapchat by playing hit Toronto song from K Money titled Come Outside. Which is a song that taunts rivals about staying indoors instead of coming outside to gangbang. Unfortunately for Lamps, his ops would accept his proposal. Oh shit. Now at 12.30 a.m., two individuals in a moped circled View Cinema where Lamps was at. After shooting once, there was commotion inside the cinema. But this didn't phase Lamps. Instead, he charged to the door where they were at. As he tried to open the door, one bullet was fired that hit him in the head and he immediately dropped. Lamps was declared dead at a hospital two hours later. 2018 was an extremely hot year for North London, but it didn't look like things were slowing down. Now, Tunisia and Melbourne Blake 
also known as Nisha, was a girl who was heavily affiliated with Tottenham sets, such as MPK, OFP, R.I.P. But MPK. are you dead ass? A very young Nisha was even I in bet. a music video by Tottenham Olders in 2010. Now on the 2nd of April 2018, almost a month after the death of Lamps, Wood Green members went out riding where they spotted MPK members. Nisha was spotted in Childgrove Road, socialising with friends. She was shot from a vehicle shortly before 9.35pm. Sadly, Tanisha died at the scene. The murder remains unsolved. Okay. Now Wood Green Godly. member BD later dropped a song mocking the ordeal of Nisha's death, sarcastically saying RIP to her while claiming he steals children. I wasn't being shoot. sarcastic when I said it, RIP. K1. Real name Kamali was a big time trapper and highly loved member in Wood Green. Now on the 21st of February 2019, MPK members were planning to go on a drill and convinced a few OFB members to aid them. MPK purchased a stolen Peugeot 308 where they had a fresh pair of clothes inside of it, waiting for them after the drill. It was parked in Broadwater Farm. It was a whip. Okay. On the 22nd of February 2019, six MPK members and one OFB member, being SJ, went okay, on alert like a... looking for ops in Wood Green on their pedal pipes. Upon reaching View Cinema, a common location for Wood Green members to hang out, as well as where Lamps was shot dead, they spotted K1, Y Dot, and Swift. A MPK member known as Shems instantly shot at the Wood Green members, missing them, causing them to split apart and run. The six yeah, members yeah. were then caught on CCTV, chasing the direction of K1 and Swift. The gang then caught up to Swift who was cornered on Vincent Road. Shems then shot Swift in his bum, where he had been stabbed eight times by Trills. K1 was further ahead and made it to his car. Now in an act of pure loyalty and bravery, K1 attempted to ram his car into a gang in an attempt to help his friend Swift. However, he got stuck between cars, leaving oh, him as a sitting duck. Fuck. Trill Sneaks and Osav turned their attention to him. K1 left the car, where he and Swift made it into coffee and cream hairdressers where they barricaded the door the mpk members booted down the door and stabbed k1 numerous times in front of women and children leaving him to die they then pedaled back to tottenham to change their clothes trill's pedal bike broke down so he attempted to walk but he was spotted by police trill's real name tyrell graham was sentenced to 25 years minimum now youths Jaden, shane leons and OJ Hamilton were also found guilty of K1's murder and GBH with intent in relation to a second man. The judge had lifted reporting restrictions that stopped them from being named. They were all sent to- What the fuck is this fucking- What's the nickname that made Facebook? This is exactly what the fuck he looked like. Who the fuck is this? This is the judge? <laughs> oh, you niggas is cooked. <laughs> oh, you niggas is baked and fried. Good luck. Golly, bro. Harpy. Just a live imprisonment and to serve a minimum of 21 years. And as for Shem's real name, Shereem Cookhorn, he was also found guilty of a possession of a firearm with intent. He was sentenced to serve a minimum of 28 years. Gotcha. Sadly, as I was making this video, another body got dropped in Finchley, North London, on the 7th of August 2023. The victim, age 18, was stabbed in Regis Park Road near the junction with Litchfield Grove but managed to flee to a Sainsbury supermarket after being attacked at 9.40pm. Wood Green members YK and Taps were immediately arrested for the murder. Now this brings me to the end of Wood Green's history of nothing but murder, jail and misery. No doubt London's deadliest gang. I send my condolences to the family of everyone I mentioned. Make sure to subscribe Which and hit the more... like button as it goes what along you mean? Way. They look like also, chicken. I'm not infallible. I'm only human, so I try my hardest to report only accurate information I come across. If you disagree with certain details, let me know in the comments. Listen, Sky Boy, it, it was looking pretty spooky on both ends, but all right. Ramers. Below. Till the next time. Appreciate you for the video, Sky Boy. Good one, man. Unfortunately, with the accent, it it, it was hard for me to, you know, my commentary, and then you know what I'm saying pick up every single thing from his end but you know what I'm saying it was pretty informative um I'm sure there's plenty that I miss but you know what I'm saying it is what it is I'm trying with this whole UK drill you know UK uh scene all right but
Anyways, man. Again, Tyler Weir. I appreciate you for the recommendation. If I'm mispronouncing the last part, I'm sorry. I finally got to the video. All right. I think there's like three or four more like long, like long videos like this that I still have to get to, and I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? Again, with all the recommendations, it's hard. I'm trying to balance things out and figure out, you know what I'm saying? But this is my last video for tonight. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description getting soon. Y'all take it easy. Be safe, all right? You know what I'm saying? Y'all in the UK? Yeah. Um, never mind. Have a great rest of your night or day if you're watching this somehow uh, early on. I hear sirens outside and shit. Like, man, pray for the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all take it easy. Good boop, 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 boop. Good boop.